Hi everybody! Today let's see how to make chia seeds pudding. For this recipe, uh, we'll need chia seeds, of course. Uh, I'm taking the mixed variety one, and you will need coconut milk. I'm using the light version. You can use heavy cream as well. And uh, for the sweetening agent, I'm using brown sugar here. You can use uh, any other sweetening agent like uh, honey or maple syrup. And uh, take a bowl first. To it, you start adding uh, about uh, five to six teaspoons of uh, chia seeds. Chia seeds are very healthy because uh, they contain a lo lot of the omega 3s that is required for your uh, daily consumption. And this is one form which I like to eat chia seeds in. Adding about uh, one glass of milk. This is normal uh, milk that I'm using here. Uh, you can either uh, skip milk and use complete coconut milk, but I'd like to have a blend of both coconut milk and normal dairy milk. If you want to keep it completely vegan, you can add in just the coconut milk. I'll allow this to rest for about uh, 5 minutes or so and you'll see that the chia seeds would swell up in size, double up in size. I have this can of uh, coconut uh, milk, that, uh, I, I just have about half of it which is uh, sufficient for uh, this recipe. I'm going to thin it out just to make sure that I don't have that heavy creaminess in the chia seed pudding because I like it to keep light as I uh, kind of uh, eat it after dinner as a dessert so I just want it to be as light as possible. I'll be adding this to the uh, soaking uh, chia seeds and again we'll let everything rest for about another 5 minutes to go. Now up after about uh, 10 minutes in total time I'm adding in the sweetening agent. Uh, I just gave that uh, standing time so that the chia seeds swell up first now uh, adjusting the sweetening agent to your sweetness levels i just add about uh, three small spoons of um, brown sugar that would be well more than enough for uh, my taste buds give it a complete mix and you can see that the chia seeds have properly doubled up in size Cover and keep for another 2 minutes or so. And this is how your pudding is at the moment. It's completely ready. You can see that the consistency is not very runny and it is perfect. I have uh, in the meantime chopped some almonds and pistas. I also have some raisins and fresh fruits like blueberry and strawberry. You can use fruits of your choice and nuts of your choice for this pudding it it surely goes well with any kind of fruits um, and now into the serving bowl I am just going to put it in small containers and uh, I can refrigerate that um, so that I can uh, serve this chilled so I have this uh, currently filled into half and I'll be garnishing with nuts and strawberries and pistas and whatsoever I have here. This can be given to small children uh, who need uh, more of protein in intake and fiber intake. When children are fussy, this kind of adds as a treat for them and they enjoy it thoroughly. Do try it. Sometimes I make this um, for the mid-afternoon snack and my son kind of enjoys it really very much. So this is a very good uh, sweet for them. Do make it and you can make it ahead of time for parties as well and you can store it in your refrigerator for about two days. Please do try this simple recipe and let me know how it turned out. Thanks for watching. 
like share and subscribe to my channel hit on the bell icon to get future notification of such videos